Hello everyone. Welcome you all on your own channel Computer Classes at Home. Python. So once again I'm back with Python and in this session of Python we are going to talk about the control structures. Control structures as the name indicates something through which we control the execution of our program. In a computer program statements are generally executed in a sequential manner means just one after another however at times the user may need to change this order of execution by repeating means to repeat a particular statement or skipping means to skip up the statements as per the need of execution a few statements subjected to a given condition in such a situation the flow of execution is altered by the use of control statements so there are different three types of control structures three type of flow of programs can be there the first one is sequential statements the second one is conditional statements and the third one is iterative statements sequential means the statements are one after another executed in a sequence conditional means we have some condition and on the basis of that the statements or the flow of control travel and in case of iterative it means we have some kind of repetition so you can see the diagram also in case of sequence we have statement 1 followed by statement 2 and then statement 3 and so on in case of selection or conditional a condition appears if the condition is true then accordingly flow of execution moves and if the condition is false then accordingly the flow of execution moves and this way the execution keeps on moving and in case of iteration if the statement is true that means some set of statements will be executed and we may have to go back to continue the execution for the required condition to be satisfied and if the condition is false the execution will stop so these are the different structures of Python programming. Now one by one if we see in sequential construct the statements in a program are executed in a sequential manner where one statement is followed by the other right and with no branching off to another action means there is no need to move to any other set of statements in between it is sequential statement 1 then statement 2 and then statement 3 and then so on for example to calculate the area of rectangle firstly enter the length and breadth of rectangle and then calculates its area and then print the result so it is sequential statement example there is no confusion just one after another next is conditional statement in this Conditional statements cause the program control to transfer to a specific location depending upon the outcome of the conditional expression. Means the condition which is given, what will be the decision of that condition accordingly the control will transfer. Every decision involves a choice between the two alternatives yes and no as a result. If it is true then one set of statement is executed. And if it is false, the other set of statement is executed. We can see the example. If a number is completely divisible by 2, then it is even number. Otherwise, the number is odd. Fine. And we will be studying more about these statements in the upcoming session. But before that, we have an example. If we see this example, the condition comes here. If it is true, then statement 1. And accordingly it the control moves and if it is false then statement 2 and accordingly the flow of execution moves the third category is iterative statements these statements repeat a set of statements for a specific number of times as long as the condition is true if the condition is true the flow will keep on moving the execution will continue and when the condition becomes false the control comes out of the loop and repetition stops we can see in the picture if the condition is true then accordingly the statement 1 will be executed and it will keep on execution until the condition is true 
as the condition will become false we will come out from the loop for example the loop will be repeated for 10 times till the sum of 10 natural numbers is calculated this can be an example if 10 numbers have to be totaled or 10 numbers have to be uh, calculated that means till those 10 numbers appear this loop will keep on executing and as the task would be completed the condition would become false and we will come out of the loop so now we are going to talk about the examples so practically in the python we will discuss how exactly we are able to work with these type of structures so you can see that the python interface is open and here i am writing the simple instructions of python programming for sequential set of statements but before that i would like to prefer to go to new file and here suppose i write the first statement input and definitely we need to write the message enter a number and initially we must have a variable say a is equal and then int input a number and in the next statement i would simply write b is equal to int and then input one more time enter another number right now c is equal a plus b now this is simple sequential structure we are just printing the values and before that we have taken the result we have taken the values so addition is and then c this is what sequential structure and if i execute the program i do ok it is asking for saving so i am giving the name test because we will be testing all different kind of structures here enter number 5 enter another number 6 addition is 11 so this is sequential set of statements one after another it is in execution now the second example would be to check the conditions so here i am taking condition if a greater b then what to do so suppose here i am writing print a and then i write here is greater than b so this will happen else i need to write the same statement again but with different message that is b is greater than a so now you can see on the screen the program for checking the greater of two numbers if a greater than b then colon then print a is greater than b the message is it with is within double quotes and the variables are without double quotes so that their values could be reflected and then the else message for b is greater than a again the message is within double quotes and the variables without double quotes so let's execute and if i execute you can see it is asking for a number suppose i give 8 and second number i am giving 4 so firstly i have given the bigger number and then smaller and you can see that it is giving that the first number is greater than the second 8 is greater than 4 now execute one more time and this time i will give the smaller number first and then the bigger number but again the execution is perfect that second number is greater than the first one 9 is greater than 5 so in this program only i am going to add one more condition that is for the equality so what i need to do is else has to be changed with elif right and we need to add the condition that is b greater than a means there could be a reason that b is greater than a in that case b is greater than a but we need to have one more else right one more else has to be written and that else would be that the numbers are equal so i'm just copying it and here i will write both numbers are equal now let's execute enter a number suppose i have given eight another number eight both numbers are equal we need to be very much conscious about the tabs and indentation like if here i have written f that means 
elif or else would be just exactly under this and the print statement should also be in a proper sequence to make the compiler understand how they are linked with each other for this if statement we have given this part what should be there if the statement is true then for the second statement else if means if this statement becomes false that means this condition has to be checked so this particular statement has to be executed so accordingly it has to be just after this elif statement and the last one is the else part if both the above condition become false then what should happen so it will come at the end i show you the execution one more time yeah so we need to enter a number suppose 7 another number again i am giving 7 so we are getting the message both numbers are equal now we will be talking about the third case third type of statement which is iterative iterative as the name indicates something which has to be repeated for that i would like to introduce the statement while while is a very simple statement which we can consider in this example you can see a is equal 5 while a less than 10 print a multiply a that is the square of a and then a equal to a plus 1 if i execute the program this way you will see how the output is appearing that is firstly the square of a which is 5 is printed that is 25 then a is incremented by 1 which is 5 plus 1 6 and square is printed that is 36 then again the value of a is incremented from 6 to 7 6 plus 1 is 7 7 is still still less than 10 so 7 into 7 49 is printed then 7 is incremented by 1 which is 8 8 is less than 10 so 8 into 8 64 is printed and then 8 plus 1 is 9 9 still less than 10 so 9 into 9 81 is printed after that 9 becomes 10 and 10 is not less than 10 so the program gets ended over here but if we talk about the tabs and indentation if this a equal to a plus 1 is here then it is okay but in case we put it here then you will be surprised to see the output c it will keep on executing why because every time we are increasing the value of a by 1 and it is outside the loop so let me stop it first yeah we will have to close it so here if the value of a is increasing it is outside the loop outside the iterative statement and if we put it back under the iterative statement set of statements or the block right so you can see the same output has come once again so this was about the iterative statement i hope the difference is clear about all the select case selection case and the iterative cases statements in case of select case the statement is executed by some selection by some condition like we did the previous example of greater of two numbers and comparisons of course and in case of sequential statement statement 1 followed by statement 2 and so on and this is the example of iterative statement so i hope you have enjoyed the videos So thank you so much for watching it and definitely you should share the video with your friends. Thank you so much.